Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tears. Now today I'm going to be playing Mortal Kombat 2. This is of course the follow up to the uh, original game, Mortal Kombat. Uh, the, the original arcade uh, version of this game was released back in 1993 by Midway and this uh, port came the following year. Um, now of course uh, Mortal Kombat 2 uh, was, uh, the arcade game was uh, was in my eyes quite an, was in my eyes an improvement over the original game. Uh, the graphics were much better, there was a bigger race of characters, and uh, it, it was just a much more refined game. Um, game. But saying that, the original is still pretty good as well. Uh, but in, in my opinion, this is probably the best in the series. Um, so now, of course, the story uh, storyline to this one is that basically um, uh, Shang Tsung has been defeated, obviously by you in the first game, um, and, uh, and uh, basically his, his boss. Uh, Shao Kahn is, uh, is not very happy with him, and so he all, he uh, he uh, yeah goes goes wants, wants to execute him. Um, but of course, uh, Ch uh, Cheng Sung uh, demands uh, demands for a second chance, and Shao Kahn decides yeah yeah I'll give he to give him the second the second chance uh, chance uh, whereby basically uh, Cheng Sung's got to do all the other players to Shao Kahn. So yeah, it's it's a bit it's a crap story really, but <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, it's just a little bit added onto the original. Um, now of course, um, this um, Amiga version does um, uh, it's it's overall it's pretty good. This one uh, it still suffers the same flaws as what the original did, what the uh, two button controls and the uh, and the uh, the frequent loading times. But uh, but overall, I I'd say that like the original, like the um, Original corner version of Mortal Kombat 2. It's but it's an improvement on the original. Uh, but, but I mean, like, but I mean, it's just. But I'd say I mean this Amiga version is better than the original. The original just for sort of the fact that Mortal Kombat 2 is always better than Mortal Kombat 1 anyway. So um, but now you can see all the most all the uh, characters are present there uh, for this. Uh, Beyond's going to do Liu Kang, um, and then uh, basically there's your most of the fighters that you got to fight there. Uh, I'll be playing against uh, one of the new characters, Kung Lao. Um, he's he's and he, uh, well to tell you the truth, guys, this game is hard. <laughs> oh, um, the the original uh, arcade version was pretty hard as well, and and this Amiga version is no different. Um, it's it's really really difficult. Um, as you can see, he's, uh, he's yeah he's already taken the first punch. Um, yeah, I mean this is this is on the easiest difficulty setting. I just pulled off a uh, uh, Liu Kang's bicycle kick there. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah uh, overall, graph, graph, um, graph, graphically, this is a, a much improved game. I mean the original the original arcade version was anyway, but um, um, I mean this was a, a big graphical uh, graphical improvement on the on the uh, original Mega version as well of the first game. Um, it, it does look really nice. Uh, the, fr the frame rate is uh, it's a little low, I suppose. Uh, but uh, so it's um, it's not as so it's still not quite as fluid. That's actually one thing I forgot to mention about the first game. So the frame rate wasn't very fluid, fluid. But um, but, over but overall, it, this this is uh, like the first game. Very uh, quite a playable conversion. Um, it's it's not the best conversion out there. I have to admit uh, that all I think goes to the Super Nintendo version. Um, yeah, but not not to look and play like the original, uh, in the fact that it, this time it hadn't been censored. <laughs> um, it's it's also much easier as well. Uh, they've uh, programmed, programmed it to make it uh, much easier for home game for home gamers, should I say? Because um, obviously the original arcade game is hard because it was a coin up. You know, it was a way of uh, trying to it was a way for developers and publishers trying to get trying to get more money off you. Um, 
So that's why that's why a lot of the old arcade games are hard, and then Mortal Kombat, and Mortal Kombat 2 is no different. Um, Alright, so I've, I've just died, but I'm just, I'm just gonna play as a Sub Zero. Uh, trying to fucking defeat Kung Lao again. Um, but yeah, this is um, this is a good good port. Uh, I like the, like the first. It's a, it's a good conversion, like what the original was to the first game. Um, it's 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 quite it's it's a very good conversion. Um, like, like I said, though, it does have it does have the same flaws that the uh, the original Mortal Kombat one had uh, on the Amiga, uh, whereby you had the, the six buttons down to two buttons. Um, all they're saying that you know it's done fairly well. Um, well, it's it's still can be tricky to pull off a bait uh, a, uh, like a simple punch. It's quite easy to do the kicks though. Um, no, but the uh, but special moves do mimic do they do mimic that of the uh, the original arcade game, which is good. Uh, yeah, to a certain extent. Um, and uh, one and of course one of the problems that the original had was the frequent loading times. Um, hey, the loading times are not bad. Uh, bad. They are still but they are still frequent. Um, it still stops to load every time you want to put off fatality. So, uh, usually at times. Um, but um, but yeah, but overall this is uh, but of course uh, that problem can be fixed by playing it on uh, WHD load, uh, which is uh, what I'm using. Um, yeah, but, uh, but obviously when you're playing from disc, it, yeah, it can be a bit of a pain because this because this game is not hard drive installable, and um, and, that, and uh, to me I thought yeah, considering when this game came out, that that was a bit of a letdown because uh, this game did come out quite late in the Amiga's life, about ninety. 94, 95, I think it was 94 actually, uh, probably late 94 I reckon, um, yeah and at the time pretty much most Amigas had hard drives, um, I think the reason why they didn't want to make it hard drive installable was because of all the privacy and stuff and things, but I mean I suppose they could have put in a, they could have still made you put the disc in uh, if, they really, if they really were that hot worked up about it. Um, but but I mean uh, yeah, to only play from disc at the time it's, it's, it's not good. Um, personally, it, like, that's probably what, only let, what really lets game down. Although nowadays you can actually you can of course use WHD load, and the loading times have greatly improved. Um, so uh, yeah, so apart from the, those uh, little issues, uh, it's the same issues with the uh, original the original uh, conversion really. The the original the conversion of the original game is what I meant. Um, you know, come now to beat me. I'm going to uh, stop there. Let the counter run down. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Mortal Kombat 2 on Amiga, it's uh, like, like the original, it's a pretty good conversion. It, it doesn't improve on the uh, the original's flaws. Um, like I said, they've still got the uh, problem with uh, think things like the load, you still got a problem with the loading and the two button down, uh, six button down to two button controls, but overall, it's a pretty good conversion. I'm going to give this one four out of five. Thank you very much for watching.